quick offense. They shoot a lot of threes. Um, they've got good players. You faced in the as coach team before. How different and similar is it from one year to the Um I think style play is pretty similar. I mean, Coach Oates has been somebody who's been very committed to his style, um, and that's pretty evident through the way their metrics are and, and kind of the way they played. And so that's credit to him and the program. You know, they've done a good job at sticking to what they want to uh, accomplish, especially on the offensive end. Coach Oates kind of mentioned that he tried to recruit you this year. How, I guess, significant and advanced that you would give them your consideration? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I have several discussions with Coach Oates. Um, you know, I, they recruited me out of the portal. You know, it's, the portal is kind of a, a wild time. Things move quick, and so um, during those discussions, you know, we uh, got along well. Um, you know, it's just the way things work. Um, things move quickly, and obviously, I'm incredibly grateful that I've ended up at Carolina. And no disrespect to Alabama or Coach Oates, but you know, I've found a great fit here at Carolina. Um, you know, obviously Sears is an All-American caliber player, a talented player. Um, all their guards can shoot, and they want to shoot uh, threes. And um, you know, that's they want to play fast. So obviously, um, being disciplined defensively and, and kind of focusing on what we're preparing and practicing to do is going to be important. In the first two games, you guys played the number 361 tempo and the number 309 tempo. Tomorrow, you're playing the number three tempo. In the end, is it just basketball or is there a different kind of focus going into a game where the team that likes to race up and down shoot quick threes and drive right to the rim yeah I mean it's uh, it's something that obviously you prepare for and you practice you, you know that's part of the beauty of this tournament is you face all different types of teams and so um, we've got a tremendous coaching staff who's done an amazing job scouting preparing us for you know what we're going to play on Thursday and um, our ability to, to execute and, and you know, trust our game plan is, is going to be huge the same way it's been huge all year. You know, the ACC is a league that has a lot of different styles of play and that's something that I think benefits us is being able to kind of change gears quickly during league play and uh, we've played a lot of good teams this year and um, you know, Alabama's no different. Is there anybody remotely close to that you've played that's a little bit like Alabama or has a similar approach that you can draw from? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, I think obviously their offensive efficiency is something that everyone loves to talk about. Um, and they've done a good job at creating, like you said, creating threes, creating layups, playing fast. Um, and so, again, that's going to be a focus for us is being able to, to guard them and, and continue to execute defensively like we have all year. Last question on them. Is it... Defending the dribble drive, or is it the three? What 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 is? You gotta pick. If you have to pick one, what what is it? Yeah, I mean we're we're not really in the business of choosing. Um, <laughs> we just we go out and we defend the way we know how we can defend. And so, obviously, that starts with guarding your man on the ball, um, trusting your help side defenders being in the right uh, position to rotate, rebounding the basketball off a missed shot. Um, obviously, taking good shots, keeping them out of transition. Um, that's you know kind of been our formula, and that's what we'll do on Thursday. Cormac, what's been the message from Coach Davis, obviously you guys have been really great in transition this year too offensively. How do you sort of straddle the line between wanting it to be a little bit of a track meet but obviously not wanting it to get maybe as chaotic as the second half of their last game? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's it really comes down to just continuing to do what's made us successful all year and trusting our preparation and our, our principles. Um, you know, for us, not overthinking too much about stylistically or this, that, and the other. You know, we go out and play basketball, and you know, we we have a, a really talented team, and it's something that has got us this far, and you know, it's something that can continue to take us further. And so, going out and competing, um, obviously not overthinking anything, and, and just going to compete.